Question 13. A minimum depth of blank working space to live parts operating at 277 volts to ground is required where there are exposed live parts on one side and no live or grounded parts on the other side. Our answers are 2 feet, 3 feet, 4 feet, and 6 feet. The key word we're going to look at here is we're looking for something with exposed live parts. And we could also be looking for working space as well. So let's take a look at that. But the reason I want to go with exposed live parts because it's talking about it has that on one side and the other side there's no live or grounded parts. So that's why I'm leaning towards that part. The question seems to be headed more in that direction. Okay, here we are at exposed and if we go down just a little bit we have live parts 110.26 so let's go to that part of the code book okay so here we are at 110.26 space is about electrical equipment now look at the first setting the first heading here under a working space now that could have been a something we chose so we did end up kind of in the right space anyway so what we're going to do now is go to the top of the next column, look for some kind of a bold heading or whatever that will give us more information. So follow along in your book. Here we are at the top of the next column and the first one says depth of working space. And that's one of the things in our question was the depth of the working space. And as we look at that, it's saying that we ha we're looking for a table 110.26A1 which is right here. So I'm just going to scroll down just below here. So we're at the table and it's telling us our minimum clearance distances. So it gives different conditions and we have to find out what these are. Now here is our voltages 0 to 150, 151 to 600. Now our question was asking for 277 volts. So we're going to be looking in this column across here. Now what's condition one? Exposed live parts on one side of the working space and no live or grounded parts on the other side. And if we read this, this is the condition we have based on our question. So when we look at this, condition one, and it's 277 volts, we need to have a working space of three feet. Three feet is answer B on our test. So again, this is a time on a test where you're going to have to do some detective work and you're going to have information in, in the text of the code and it's going to refer you to a table. And you have to go to that table and find the right information that fits to your specific situation right here because if, if you look back at that table there's six combinations it has two classifications of voltages and then three conditions so there would have been six potential answers there